Welcome back to CTV Morning. Rise and shine. We're looking at a beautiful day. Hot and humid, though. We do have a chance of thunder shower activity later on this afternoon. Everything's looking pretty good for race weekend, and there are plenty of stories, plenty of people running for different reasons, young and old. We are going on the young spectrum right now with the youngest runner to ever take part in the race weekend. The earliest time he did it was when he was three. Yep. Joining us is Luis Eduardo himself right here. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. And his mom, uh, Carmen Larson. So great to have you both here. Thank you for the Thank opportunity. You. Thank you. You brought some impressive hardware with you. So we're going to get to the story. And I'm going to ask you, Carmen, to kind of give us a quick rundown. Because I know five years ago, we made the, the move here from Venezuela. Yeah, we came from Venezuela. So as new immigrants, we try as, to get involved into the activities uh, of the city where we live, so the city of Ottawa. And we signed up to the Stay Active Month, so during the month of May. At the end of that, when he was three years old, he said, well, mom, what's my award? What am I getting for, for, for exercising for a month? And I said, well, there's actually a kids marathon. So I signed him up. The day of the run, uh, that's the day I found out that the kids were around 10, 15 <laughs> years old. They They weren't three. <laughs> so he was basically half the height of every mm -hmm. other kid. Uh, the, the organizers, they were great. They actually uh, worked everything around so that Luis Eduardo could run. He was so excited that he wanted to run. And so what they did is that they let all the other re all the other kids run first, and then he ran with a uh, Red Cross volunteer and his own pace bunny. And we did remind him, you don't have to do the whole run. Uh, you can do as much as you can, but he was so excited that he ran the whole and the I whole think marathon. Everyone on the sidelines was cheering oh, for him. Yes, he yeah. couldn't stop. I, was it? Do you remember when that happened? Do you remember your first run? Uh, I don't know. You know, do you, you remember each of the runs part of that. What do you like about running? Uh, about everybody cheering me. Yeah, it's nice when everyone's cheering you on the sidelines. Now, you've done some amazing things because over the years you continue to run, and now you're doing the, uh, the family, the 2K, but you like to raise money. So what are you raising money for? For the Canadian athletes that need money for training. Right. For, for food. For food, for just for them to live so that they can be able to train. And yeah. you've had a lot of the Olympians say thank you to you, right, for raising money? Because yeah. you've raised, do you want to say how much you've raised? Uh, yeah. How much have how you much raised? How much have you raised? Uh, $15,000? Yes. That is a <laughs> lot of money. You're really helping a lot of athletes. So they've actually sent him stuff. I mean, you're getting signed helmets and things from Olympians yeah. now, so, right? So we raise funds for the Canadian Athletes Now Fund. And that's where Luis Eduardo has his main fundraiser. So you can go to their website and you can help us uh, join. Uh, we have to reach our goal of $20,000. And uh, um, yes, this helmet was given by two bobsleigh athletes, uh, Cody and Andrew. They actually went to his birthday because also for his birthday, we asked people that if you want to bring a present, just donate something to the Canadian Athletes Now Fund. And also what is great about this, uh, fun, uh, this, this foundation is that every time you donate uh, to a Canadian athlete, you're going to get an email where it tells you who your, your money is given to. So again, it's, it's, it's all the money they need. Um, they, right now, there are about 100 Canadian athletes that still need funds. Uh, for London, so I think we have about 63 days to raise money for them. Yeah, it's amazing to see. It's something that you're passionate about, and I think we've started him on the running because as, and when I said, do you want to go to the Olympics one day? You said, well, what kind of sport? What kind of sport? What sport? Bob's for, and a lot of them are some pretty fast sprinters, so you're on the right track. Are you looking forward to running again on, uh, on the weekend? Yep. Yeah, you're excited? Ready to go? You gonna add another medal to your neck? Yes. yes. Thank you so much for the work that you're doing. And Carmen, amazing. You know, you Thank come you to a new country us. and a new city and you embrace uh, what's happening here. And you got everyone involved pretty young. He knows what he's doing. Thank, Thank you. you. And uh, I'm sure the Canadian athletes are thanking you Thank too. Thank you. Thank you. Good Thank luck. You. I think you're doing an amazing job, buddy. Uh, we have uh, a ton of stories coming your way. Stories like Luis Eduardo, who are taking part in this race weekend. Uh, one very famous runner who's done some amazing things uh, here in our community and across the country is John Stanton. He's the running room founder. We'll have details with him coming up after this commercial break.